Good morning, everyone. So if we can take our mindful seat, sit up straight and tall, however's comfortable, resting your hands on your heart or your belly, whatever works. And we're gonna close our eyes. And we're just gonna breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And just take a few moments noticing how you're feeling right now. Check in with yourself, with your body, with your emotions. And keep breathing. And listen for the sound of the bell. So today, for a mindful moment, we're going to practice our loving kindness again, but to others. So today, I want you to think about, first, someone that you love. So someone that you love and that you see almost every day. Um, or maybe someone from your school that you love and that you haven't seen in a while. I want you to just picture them in your mind and press it, your hand on your heart. And just imagine them in your mind. Imagine them healthy and strong. What would they look like? Imagine them happy and joyful, maybe playing a favorite game or sport. You know, picture them what they just look like when they're peaceful and calm, just content. Now you're going to repeat after me words that you're going to imagine you're saying to them. May you be healthy and strong. May you be happy and calm. And I encourage you to keep your eyes closed. And now I want you to picture someone that maybe you're a little mad at in your life. There's someone that did something that hurt your feelings. If there's no one, that's okay. Just picture again someone you love, but if there is someone that maybe did something, a sibling, someone hurt your feelings, just picture them in your mind. And same thing, I want you to imagine what they look like when they're healthy, when they're strong. And picture what they look like when they're happy and joyful. Now picture them peaceful and calm. And again, you're going to repeat after me and imagine you're saying these words to them. May you be healthy and strong. May you be joyful and calm. Just take a moment, imagine a message from your heart going to theirs. And feel that love, feel that energy if you can. And breathe in, breathe out. And you can open your eyes. So that was practicing loving kindness to others. And today we're going to read another story in the Sneetches and Other Stories, written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. We're going to read the story called The Zacks. So, and let me find it again. There we are. Okay. The Zacks. <gasps> One day making tracks in the prairie of Prax came a north going Zacks and a south going Zacks. And it happened that both of them came to a plain where they bumped. There they stood, foot to foot, face to face. 
Look here now, the north going Zack said, I say. You're blocking my path. You're right in my way. I'm a north going Zax, and I always go north. Get out of my way now. Let me go forth. What could they easily do right now? What do you think? But will they? So, who's in whose way, snapped the south going Zax? I always go south, making south going tracks, so you're in my way. And I ask you to move and let me go south in my south going groove. Then the north going Zax puffed his chest up with pride. I never, he said, take a step to one side. And I'll prove to you that I won't change my ways if I have to keep standing here 59 days. And I'll prove to you, yelled the south going Zax, that I can stand here in the prairie of Prax for 59 years. For I live by a rule that I learned as a boy back in south going school, never budge. That's my rule, never budge in the least. Not an inch to the west, not an inch to the east. I'll stay here, not budging. I can and I will if it makes you and me and the whole world stand still. Will the whole world stand still? What do you think? Well, of course the world didn't stand still. The world grew. In a couple of years, the new highway came through, and they built it right over those two stubborn Zacks and left them there, standing unbudged in their tracks. The end. So that was a short one. Uh, I love that story. We all have sometimes where we seem stuck in our ways, and we just won't budge. Um, but the world continues to go on around us, and I encourage you sometimes, not always, but try to figure out how you can budge and how the other person can budge a little bit too. Listen to each other and love each other. And for that, I bid you adieu and I will see you tomorrow.